Okay, well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is going to be my how to wire one of these up. We're going to install it. We're going to get the car running. I'm going to show you exactly how I wired it into the harness because it can get confusing because it has so many wires coming off of it. Okay, they, they have wiring diagrams on the back, and you can find these all over the internet. Cool thing about the Summit box is it has an adjustable... Uh, rev limiter on it now on mine I'm using a electronic distributor you don't need a ignition control module it's like a cheap billet distributor does not have an ignition control module on it just straight wires off of it going back to that box I'm gonna be using this coil the MSD boxes are pretty much the same the wires are just in a little bit different places. The MSD boxes are pretty much the same. The wires are in different places. The tack lead is by itself. Pretty much the same thing. I just chose the Summit box because uh, those freaking chips or whatever they are, the rev limiter chips can cost like 30 bucks or more. And uh, that's just too high for me. So on these boxes, the, they're going to have two wires that are a little bit bigger, thicker. This goes to hot all the time and then ground. So you need to put these, make really good connections on these. So these are very important to have good connections. You can see I ran them over. They're gonna go into this part of the harness. And then the ground, see where we are? I did a real good ground on the core support where the lights are. And then the power wire runs to the, see the ignition box, I fused it. And then it runs into the bus bar, which is 12 volts straight from the battery. So it's hot all the time through a fuse. And then the real good ground. Those are the two wires, just to give you an idea of where I put them. But you know, if you don't really know all about this stuff, you could just ground this anywhere and get power from anywhere. Okay, so each one of these boxes is going to be a little bit different, but on this box it has a plug thing that looks like this. Now the orange and black are going to go to your coil, negative and positive on your coil. And then this is goes back to ignition on with the key. Okay, I just cut mine out of the harness this used to go to the positive side of the coil I just cut that wire and spliced it spliced this straight into that in the harness okay yeah you wouldn't want to cut that much off that wire was already cut that's the reason I did that but tie the red wire to the old ignition wire this is usually orange or something this is usually orange or red or yellow this is for your distributor these go to the magnet pickup. White goes to, uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it goes to the old wire that comes out of a points ignition. It goes to the one coming out of the distributor, going to the negative side of the coil. Uh, you never use these two at the same time because on these boxes, that magnet pickup is going to turn the box on. So you really can't test one of the boxes without spinning the crank. So either one of these is going to turn the box on. Now this goes back to the tack. See, I'm not using the white wire on this one, so I just have it taped off. Okay, so all I did was I took the old wire. This goes back to the tack and the dash. And just cut it, ran it right in there. Right into the harness. So both of these plugs ran right into the harness of those four wires you got to connect back into the car okay so this is what I'm mounting the box with self tapping screws lock washer flat washer and some kind of shock absorber thing
the wires to our coil. Wire to the distributor. Distributor, coil wires. Let's put the coil and distributor in. Orange positive, black to negative. Get the distributor in, make sure you have the gasket on. Hook this back up. All right, so we're just checking to make sure number one is in the right direction. We took the number one spark plug out. We're gonna put a paper ball in there, in the hole. And we're gonna crank it and make sure that our rotor is pointed in this direction. Okay. Just gonna crank it. Okay, popped out right around there so the distributors in there right real quick test I always do that because <sighs> you can waste so much time when you have that thing in there backwards and if you're building one of your cars and for some reason you have a big block you're gonna have to have these 45 degree boots okay so just keep that in mind okay so we know number one's right here somewhere we're just gonna wire that to number one all right we got it all wired up put the last wire coil wire on we're gonna go ahead and start it but I'm gonna have to time it real quick Okay, well it's all wired up. Let's go ahead and make sure everything's working. So anybody can look at a wiring diagram and say, oh yeah, this is simple, anybody can do that, but the reality really hits you whenever you come out here and you actually start looking in in your engine bay trying to figure out where do those wires go. Now, like I said, this is just the way I did it, wire straight into the freaking harness. I'm going to permanently run a summit box on this car forever. There you go. Well, if you like the video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.